Hey guys, what's up? It's me, like only three Chinagan here, and I'm bringing you the Low Galaxy Squad review to have set number 70706. This is the Crater Creeper. This set retails for about 20 US dollars. It has ages 7 through 14, and it has 171 pieces. Here's a front look at your box. There is the back of your box. This set here includes one instruction manual with 44 pages of building. First off, our minifigures here is Chuck Stonebreaker. He is available in two other sets, so there's nothing really too unique about him. You can see he has some very nice printing underneath his helmet. He also features a double-sided face and has back printing. The only other figure included in this set here is an alien bogoid. This guy comes in quite a few sets, so there's nothing really too unique about him. He has some great front torso printing, leg printing, and an awesomely molded head. He also features some great back printing. Here is the small little vehicle that Chuck Stonebreaker gets. This is kind of an okay little Little vehicle. You can see it's made from that nice circular piece, which I do like, and he has some nice blue translucent pieces on the bottom right there. It's just this vehicle really feels like it was made of some random pieces just to throw in and make this set worth a little bit more. It's not really that great of a vehicle. You can see some slight sticker detail on the front right there, and there's also a little sticker control panel. You can easily fit Chuck Stonebreaker right there, and he has two guns on the side, which is pretty cool, and there also are some flick fire missiles that you can flick away. Here is the main portion of the set, the Crater Creeper itself. The Creeper has some pretty nice details going on, it has some really cool color schemes, mainly featuring that light green and dark red color. As I give you a bird's eye view of the vehicle, you can see it really resembles a bug. I'm not quite sure which bug they're going for, maybe an ant or some kind of beetle, but it does resemble some kind of creepy bug very well. As you move around the side, you can see there's some nice legs right here, which are pretty cool, and there's some nice features evolving those legs, and I really like this back part here made in translucent plastic. The detail on top there is a sticker, and underneath there's a gun the Bugoy can use. I really wish LEGO could have included one of these pieces, but the reverse bottom one, because it kind of looks like it just cuts off a little bit, which is a little bit unfortunate. Creeper is identical on both sides. You can see there's some engine pieces there in that dark red color, which is really unique. The main cockpit area of the Crater Creeper isn't that impressive. There's a nice little sticker detail right there. You can also easily fit the alien bugoid right there. On top, the Creeper does have two flick fire missiles. Fail! And also, probably the main feature of this set here is if you push on these little things, kind of wish they covered these up, if you push on those, it actually makes these nice little jaw things go up and down. The rubber band is a little bit too exposed right there, but once you open it up, you can see there's a nice printed piece right there. With that jaw feature, you can actually take the small little vehicle and with its kind of strange circular shape, it actually makes it pretty easy for the jaw to grasp onto it, which is a pretty nice little feature. Possibly my favorite part about this set is how you can move the legs. It gives it kind of like a little bit of suspension. You can see if you push down here, the legs have a nice little bit of a give to them. But I'm going to bring in the box for this set right here. And basically, these middle legs here, these legs can't move, but this middle leg one goes up and down. And it's really cool because you can have it stand very nicely on structures like that that are uneven, which is a really nice added feature that LEGO included. Here is a quick size comparison for you between the Crater Creeper and lots of other Galaxy Squad sets. You can see the Crater Creeper is actually a very large build, which is a really, really cool feature about this set. All right, guys, so far over here on the Crater Creeper, I'm going to give this set a 7.8 out of 10. It's not really a great set by any means. The minifigures are kind of lame because you can get them in cheaper sets, which is a little bit disappointing, but it's a pretty cool design. You get some cool pieces in here. So it's a pretty good overall set. For $20, I think it's definitely worth it. So 7.8 out of 10. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Go like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys later. Bye.